Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I know it looks crazy right now. What we're gonna be doing is a wedding acrylic sign. It's 20 inches by 30 inches. So just under two feet by three feet. And so it's pretty big. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it where we have a template underneath. Uh, so that ensures that everything is aligned exactly where it's supposed to be and we don't have to worry about that right instead we can worry about putting down our adhesive without any bubbles <laughs> all right so let's get started i'm gonna do a time lapse as well so i'm gonna start that and hopefully okay that's going all right so here is all the vinyl cut out i'm gonna move it to the side and what we have here is this is exactly what drawn out what our acrylic sign should look like sliced up because our Cricut can only cut 12 by 12 inch pieces so what I'm going to do here is basically I am going to slice off where the lines are so that we know where to tape it so let's hope I'm cutting this properly sort of it's almost easier here I'm almost wondering if I should go and get scissors but that's okay we're gonna line this up perfectly And once we do this, we're just, this is just uh, giving us the chance to tape things down more easily. And we actually, I did five out of the six pages, so we're not doing all of it. But this is just, I mean, <laughs> I know you're like, well, it looks time consuming, but trust me, the few minutes that we spend doing this is so worth the like the non-headache that we'll have. Um, let's see, let me cut off this piece. So I'm cutting off the edges where the green line is because that tells me where the acrylic sign is going to be, where it ends. So, and you'll see in a minute. So this is the starting of welcome. So here is the word welcome. And we wanna just line it up so that it fits perfectly, right? We have two places to line up, the happy and the welcome. So that's easy for us to know where to put this. Right? Okay, then, this goes over here. So this one, I'm gonna cut off this side really quickly. I know, I'm like, it looks tedious, but I'm telling you it's worth it. Okay, so now we're piecing this together, right? We know the end of that swirl goes here, that lines up, the A lines up, and let me just get my tape. What did I just do with my tape? Here it is. Then we have, this goes over here like this. This piece goes right here. Um, I'm gonna cut off this piece right here. So 
So this is important because this lines up perfectly with this right here. So these four corners, right? That's why it's nice to have the grid of squares because we know all the corners butt up next to each other so that it's easy to put this down. All right, so Valerie's gonna go over here. And you can kind of see already, Valerie starts right around there. See the four corners go up to each other and now we have our outline. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down here. We don't need this corner because Zachary's down, so we know the ARY is gonna go where it goes. So I'm gonna put our acrylic sign. I just tore off the sheet so it's still clean and lint free. So you can see, I'm gonna line this up like this. And now we know exactly where everything goes, okay? So I'm just going to um, grab a napkin. Now we can do this a couple ways. We can do it the wet method. Oh, where'd that line come from? Okay, we do the wet method where we can apply it, but I honestly don't think that we need to. And I'm just looking for, just wanna make sure. Okay, I just took this off, so I think this is good. I'm gonna get my um, transfer tape. And I'm using contact paper here. And I'm just gonna cut this off. And we can do little by little. So for instance, we can even do this little guy right here, right? Because we know exactly where everything goes. Everything is lined up. And we're gonna do some gold flakes on this thing. It's gonna be so cool. So, I'm gonna grab this. Make sure it's down. So this is um, foil. And it's beautiful. I absolutely love foil. But what I hate about it is it can be difficult to cut so, and you see where it goes? It's right, you just line it up. So I'm holding it really taut so that there's no bubbles, right? No chances of bubbles. And I'm holding it up. Right, we love it. <laughs> All right, here is a big piece that we're gonna do, let's see. Let's do welcome. So here's our welcome. Okay. And I'm going to cut this so that we don't have a gigantic piece. I'm not happy that I'm using these scissors, but I can't find my other ones. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this and do welcome. This is contact paper from the Dollar Tree. I do like it. Well, one, it's cheap, and two, it's not quite as sticky. So I'm just gonna put that down. Make sure it's totally down. Oh, you know, the thing with cutting vinyl, um, metallic vinyl that is, I, um, I have a blade that I use just for vinyl uh, because I use, I cut so much paper and paper dulls the blade. 
So I just switch out my blade every time I do vinyl. And that ensures that I have a good cut each time. So you see when I'm pulling it back, it's it's still resisting. So I'm staying as perpendicular as I can and going kind of slow, making sure that it's stuck to my piece, stuck to my transfer tape. What you don't want to do is pull it straight up because then you're pulling against, whereas this you're kind of pulling down and you're letting it stick to the contact paper, which is important. Okay, so we have it down. I'm gonna flip this over and you see, I can, I see exactly where it needs to go. So once I line it up, I'm gonna put it down. A little bit. I'm putting it down this side first, okay? Then, don't do that. Holding this. I'm putting it down. And I know I'm lined up. My my acrylic shifted right now, so I'm going to reline it up once we put this down. So it's not supposed to look like this. It moved a little bit. There. It shifted. Okay. I'm just going to squeeze out. There's just a little bit of air right there. Get it out from the edge. All right, so now we can do, let's do Zachary. I'm actually going to cut this off. You just want to make sure you go slowly because if you do pull it a little bit quickly, you could actually just rip the, the vinyl apart. So it's down and it's, you know, it's temperamental. It works and it doesn't. Okay. 
flip this piece over. All right, so if you line this up, the rest of it will line up. So I'm holding it like this. All right, we're just gonna keep going. It's looking kind of dark, huh? I don't wanna turn on the light, the extra light, because it's just gonna bounce off this acrylic sign. That's looking so pretty, okay. Can't wait to put the gold flakes on it too. Now I do like to let these signs um, cure. So don't do anything with it, just let it sit. Don't touch it. Um, it's really gonna anchor itself to the acrylic. Oh man, it's just like not going down. getting there. And this is where, you know, like you get towards the end and this is where something will rip or you'll lose a piece and it's just so annoying. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so here's Valerie. Gonna line this up. So I'm lifting this up. I'm putting this down little by little so that I can get out all the bubbles. almost done and then it's off to the fun stuff the cold flakes Whoa. 
And earlier, you know what? The apostrophe, or the comma came off. So actually what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I can take off that little piece. So actually on this one, we're gonna cut it up like this. And this will actually make it easier for us to put down. So I'm gonna put down the little comma first. Right, that's so much easier than putting down the whole thing all at once. So there's my little comma. Put down the 2021. I'm going to put this piece down for now. This is so big. I just don't want to have to deal with the stickiness when I don't have to. And now it's the easy part. We've got just a few words left. Oh shoot, you couldn't even see that before. I apologize. <laughs> the sign is so big, it's hard to see everything. Okay, but the rest you'll be able to see. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna do the R first. Anything? So when I do the gold flakes, I'm actually gonna do the gold flakes on top and I'm gonna paint from behind. I don't think I'm gonna paint on this one today because I want the gold flakes to dry a little bit and it's gonna be kind of hard to maneuver, maneuver around. So, and you've seen me do paint before on the acrylic sign, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I'll do the gold flakes. We are almost done. Okay, I need a long piece for that. Is this gonna, you know what? I don't need a long piece. I'm going to split this up. Here's Ever. The nice thing about these signs too is that they don't get a lot of touch. So they're gonna be up and you're not gonna have people touching it a lot. So 
it's not like a thermos where you have to worry about it being washed and then the letters lifting. So, yay, we are almost done. All right, let me put this away. This one. Right, I feel like it's the stress free part about lining up makes such a difference and it makes it so much, I don't know, nicer to do this project without having to worry about that. Okay. So we are all done there. I'm gonna put this back, see if I can use this again at some point. Okay, I'm gonna take off our bottom. Okay, so I stopped that. We don't need this anymore, right? Our beautiful template, okay. So this sign, look at how pretty it is. I love it. Okay, we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit of gold here and a little bit of gold here. So I have my gold flakes and my speedball metal leaf thing. So I'm, give me one second, I'm gonna go get the brush. This is the brush that I use and I need tweezers, so give me one more second. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna put this down so that I'm not ruining the sign, okay? I'm gonna start this again. Okay, it's recording. All right, so let's do this. And there's no like really right or wrong to this because the gold flakes are going to crumble and it's not really going to stay to this exact line, which is nice because then we don't have to worry about it, right? Okay, so I'm going to do that. Close it up <laughs> so that we don't make any mistakes there. All right, you can see that, right? Let me move this up a little bit more. That you can see it all the way at the end. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. And we're just gonna start taking flake by flake and putting it down. And then we're gonna paint underneath the white in between. So you can see how like the jagged edges just makes it easy that it doesn't have to be so like uniform. Getting it down and put just a little bit more at this edge right here. Oh, 
and we can always go a little bit thicker if you want to afterwards. So this kind of gets it going and I love it. Okay, so that's one side down. We're gonna do the other side. to the top which I think you can see and can you see over here yeah okay so I'm gonna move this over a little bit okay so now we're gonna do this side over here off and now we're going to do gold flakes up here and you can see we actually it doesn't require a lot of gold flakes so I absolutely love this material it really makes a difference without like the the big heavy cost. Um, so I also have gold sheets which look exactly the same color but I thought it was a lot easier for me to work with these little flakes but that's just personal preference. Um, I think they're both you know like equal in in quality um, but you know what I don't know cost wise I didn't check to see which one is cheaper. So let me look at that and I will see if I can post that in the comments. I didn't look to see how much, you know, you get in weight. Because you got to compare apples to apples, right? <laughs> right. I think we're like kind of done. And anywhere you can see where it has like the glue, it's keeping the, you know, keeping the foil down. So pretty okay that's it now um you flip it over well i guess i could do that now too we can give me a second i'm gonna go and get something that i can prop this on and then we can do that so let me close up everything and we'll see tomorrow if we need to add more gold flakes but for now that's what we have Okay, so these are my handy dandy drink holders. We're gonna flip this over and we're gonna paint in between, okay? So give me a second. Move that over, okay. Okay, you want a lot of paint on this, okay? So, I've got regular paintbrush and I have acrylic paint. And we're just gonna put down 
Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have like carpal tunnel right now too. So I can't open this thing. <laughs> Let's hope I have enough paint here. I'm put a lot of paint, okay? We want to make sure you have paint wherever there is. Oh gosh. Because you want it to be legible easily, you know, you can easily read it. So you want to make sure wherever there's words that we have the paint. All right, I'm going to keep this down, face down for now. And let's start. And you want to be light because you don't want the brush strokes to come through. And it's always hard with the big signs because you need to kind of like look under. But you can see where the gold is, right? So you want to make sure. And I kind of want the, the unfinished look. Let's just give it a go to see what we have and where we want to, you know, make some changes. Okay. Um, okay. So this is going to be kind of hard to do. This is what it looks like. It's really hard to see. It looks really, really pretty. Um, I think I want some more paint up in this corner over here. Let's work on this corner. And I think just at a quick glance, I want to do the gold a little bit thicker. So that will have to be a tomorrow thing because obviously this paint will not be dry in time to flip it over to do that. And you just want to make sure that it's covered in white so that you don't have any open brush strokes in the middle. Okay, actually, let's see what it looks like now. All right. hard to check on this. Ah, I'm so scared I'm gonna like touch the paint. I can't decide. I think I want to do 
all white. So <laughs> I'm going to add it all the way to the edge. Oops, jeez. And we won't know what everything looks like until tomorrow. Because now I'm going all the way to the edge, so. There's no looking at this. Alright, so you're going to have to stay tuned for pictures, and I will see you later. Alright, bye guys. Let me turn this off and finish this up. See you later.